What's up, everyone? Let's go ahead and start off this lesson on the midpoint formula by asking ourselves, what is a midpoint? If you had an 8-inch sub, the midpoint would be the location where you would cut it in half to make two smaller 4-inch subs. Mmm. <laughs> now we can extend this thinking to finding the midpoint of a line segment that connects two points by finding the point that is directly in the middle of the line segment such that it cuts it into two congruent halves. In this case, you have line segment JK. Point M is directly in the middle so that JM is one half, KM is the other half, and they are both congruent. Ooh. Now we're going to be concerned with finding midpoints on the coordinate plane. So we want to think of a midpoint as a location with XY coordinates. And our tool in this lesson for finding the midpoint is going to be the midpoint formula. So let's go ahead and learn how to use it. Our first example wants us to find the midpoint of line segment AB and it's giving us the coordinates of both endpoints. So let's start by plotting those endpoints A at 7, 3 and B at negative 5, 5 and then constructing line segment AB. So we want to find the midpoint of this line segment. Again, we want to find the xy coordinate that is directly in the middle of this line segment such that it cuts it into two congruent halves. Let's go ahead and write down the coordinates of A, our first point, at 7, 3, and B, our second point, at negative 5, positive 5. And now we're prepping ourselves to substitute the right values into the midpoint formula. Now endpoints A and B are just xy coordinates. Since 7, 3 was the first point, that's going to be the x1, y1. And since negative 5, 5 was the second point, that's going to be our x2, y2. Now on the left side, x1 plus x2 is just going to be 7 plus negative 5. On the right side, y1 plus y2 is just 3 plus 5. We can continue to evaluate 7 plus negative 5 equals positive 2. Over on the right side, 3 plus 5 just equals 8. And finally, 2 divided by 2, or 2 over 2, is just 1. And over on the right, 8 divided by 2, or 8 over 2, is equal to 4. So using those two endpoints in the midpoint formula, we have found the coordinates of the midpoint of line segment AB at 1, 4. Oh, yeah! Now our final example is slightly more advanced than the example that we just completed. This question is not asking us to find the midpoint, it's giving us the midpoint of line segment TN at negative 3, negative 4. It's also giving us the coordinates of one of the endpoints, this case T, with coordinates negative 6, negative 9. What we want to find is the coordinates of the other endpoint N. So let's visualize what's going on here. We know where the center of the line segment is and we know one of the endpoints. We want to find the other endpoint N. So we know that endpoint T has coordinates at negative 6, negative 9, that's our x1, y1. And our other endpoint N has unknown coordinates, but that's still going to be our x2, y2. Now we're still going to use the midpoint formula, but we know that it's going to equal the midpoint, which we already have, which is negative 3, negative 4. So we'll start with the x-coordinate of the midpoint at negative 3. So we know that negative 6 plus some unknown number divided by 2 would have to equal negative 3. Solving this algebraically shows us that the unknown number will be 0, since negative 6 plus 0 is just negative 6, and negative 6 divided by 2 does equal negative 3. So what we just did was confirm the x-coordinate in the midpoint, the negative 3s both match up. And we know that the value of the x-coordinate in endpoint n is 0. Next, we want to find the value of y2 in endpoint n. Now, we know that the y value in the midpoint is negative 4. So we just want to find negative 9 plus what unknown value divided by 2 is going to equal negative 4. When we solve this algebraically, we should get positive 1 for that unknown value since negative 9 plus 1 is equal to negative 8. And negative 8 divided by positive 2 does equal negative 4, which does match up with the y-coordinate from the midpoint m. 
And so we can say that the value of y2 in endpoint n is positive 1. And now we can plot the other endpoint n with coordinate 0, 1. Plotting this point allows us to construct the line segment Tn with midpoint m at negative 3, negative 4. Now we'll finish up on a quick note on a visual method using slope. We notice here that the slope from endpoint t to the midpoint m is up 5 over 3. So if we repeat this slope from the midpoint going up 5 units and over to the right 3 units again, it will take us to our other endpoint n at 0, 1. Please follow us on Instagram at MashupMath for free daily math tips and infographics.